for 2020 is heating up just as Governor Hogan begins his second term and questions swirl about his ambitions for a higher office. And as Denise Koch reports, there's growing speculation the most popular governor in the nation could run for president. My plan right now is to, to stay here for four years and do the best job I can in Maryland, but I've said, you know, you never say never. You, you know, who knows what's going to happen? I'm listening. Hogan's re-election in Blue State, Maryland is clear evidence he can attract voters across party lines. He has also been vocal in his criticism of President Donald Trump. My thoughts uh, about Donald Trump are very clear. I believe I was the first governor in the nation, Republican, to say I wasn't going to support Trump. I'm not protesting every day about every issue, but when I stand up and certainly let people know when I disagree or when I think something is uh, going on that I, that I don't think is right. However, the governor is also very aware that among Republicans, the president's approval rating is above 80 percent, a factor Hogan's friend Chris Christie believes will discourage him from running. And so unless those numbers were to change, I wouldn't see Larry doing anything because Larry's a smart politician. He isn't the second Republican in Maryland history to get reelected governor because he's dumb. Larry's really smart. He's a good politician and he's a good person. Hogan does have a proven record of working with a Democratic legislature with a bipartisan approach. It's not easy. It's, it's not easy to overcome, you know, differences and, and partisanship. But you can, uh, and it's what people want. At his inaugural last month, he was praised by a one-time rival of President Trump, Jeb Bush. Larry's at the top of a list of leaders that I admire today because what's happening here in Annapolis is the antithesis of what's happening in Washington, D.C. these days. While Governor Hogan insists he is committed to running this state for four more years, he also admits he hasn't closed the door. I wouldn't be on some fool's errand just to run some suicide uh, mission. I would only run if I thought that, that I could actually win. Now, as for the White House, they are projecting great confidence, with a spokeswoman recently saying, and I quote, the president is ready for any candidate that would decide to run against him. We have a great record to run on, especially when you look at the economy, unquote.